Hello there, Aeroner here and today we are going to make tier list of chargers in Troy. Starting with Ethiopia, we have earjet stuff bearers. Uh, let's start with them having in the average tier. They are pretty good chargers, high charge bonus, especially when you swap charge, you are able to deal a lot of uh, damage and kills. Next, Argos has the Heroic Axe Runners or Heroic Axe Warriors. These guys, mm, despite having quite good stats, they do not have enough models, so they are squishy. So you need to be extra careful in using them in battles. Then we have Dardanian. Renowned Dardanian Sworn Fighters. These guys are very powerful, they deal a lot of damage and uh, they have also very high survivability with a lot of models, armor and everything. Next Hector. Hector roster does not have chargers and he, he got only heavy shock spears. They are terrible and slow at charging. So they are the worst roster for the charging you can have. Uh, quite opposite, Hippolyta is having Black Spears. Those are very strong YOLO chargers. They are strong similarly as uh, renowned Dardanian Sworn Fighters, but Black Spears will die much sooner. Uh, but they are cheaper. To compensate. Then in Ithaca we don't have uh, specifically just chargers and our spear runners are very good at charging apart from being as excellent, excellent flankers. Uh, they are pretty good in uh, swap charging and cycle charging so we will use them as solid mid-tier chargers. Then Lycia Finally, we got some heavier, more elite chargers. These guys are pretty good, decent. Uh, in battles, they perform quite well and according to their cost. Then we got uh, Agamemnon's companions in Mycenae, which have very similar stats and uh, slightly better weapon. And you would be surprised these guys are the strongest in the game. They are able to delete any LED unit just by charging and cutting them off because of their very strong weapon. Then poor Paris is having standard chargers that, cause, they are, that are causing fear. Uh, they are pretty good in theory and in practice they are a bit squishy so you have to be careful how to use them. Next is Penthesilea and her Daughters of Ares. Uh, you would be thinking this should be one of the best uh, chargers. They are expensive, they have pretty strong weapon and insane charge and attack. However, their HP models and uh, defense is low so in battles you will be not doing that that well like Agamemnon's companions. So uh, you need to use Daughters of Ares only against spears or, or against the weaker opponents. So that's why they are not going to be in the S tier. In the Ftaya, we got renowned club warriors. Uh, these guys are having uh, weak stats, uh, weak chargers, and Ftaya in general does not use chargers tactics. They are more about flanking and holding the line. And these chargers are, are having worse stats than the other mid-tier chargers. In, Sam in Salamis, we also don't have chargers. Uh, but Salamis companions are an interesting alternative to chargers. They have the reckless charge ability, which gives them a charge bonus and speed. So 
their average charge will become uh, a charge bonus of the average charger. But you have to be careful and use companions against the weaker opponents. Otherwise, just use it as front line that is holding the line without moving. Then in the Sparta, we got Axe champions. They are pretty good and they are kind of same as Lycian uh, champions. They are performing the same. They have very similar stats compared to each other and it's it really depends on your arm, army compositions to have them. And very last, we got Warriors of Pangaeon. They are absolutely strong and brutal. They have the second best uh, weapon in the game and they are performing almost like Agamemnon companions. Uh, these Warriors of Pangaeon are more YOLO. They don't flank them, they have Furious Charge instead. Uh, and you will be able to cut enemy elite units as well. Maybe just be a little more careful as they cannot heal up as the Ajax uh, or Agamemnon's companions. So let me check which unit should be moved somewhere. Uh, maybe against Spears, Daughters of Ares would be the best. And uh, in the multiplayer battles, they are actually the wars. On the average tier, we have a lot of good charges here. Some people will be saying that, yeah, the black spears are very broken. They should be maybe even in the A tier. And because they are mid tier, I would keep them in the average tier, but on the very front of the, this tier. The renowned Dantarian chargers are almost broken for such tier, but they are more expensive. Other chargers are quite well. In the below average tier, you can argue that heroic axe warriors could be in the B tier, uh, especially if you give them buffs or use them carefully. Otherwise, uh, just you got different options and Argos is more about uh, ambushing, flanking and less about charging. And the rest seems to be okay. So if you have any comments or uh, uh, opinions, how would you make the tier list uh, differently? Please let me know in the comments. And that is all from me. See you later.